All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, as the title reads, we're going to do another video on the 2007 Mr. Olympia runner-up, Victor Martinez, the Dominican Dominator, versus 2015 Mr. Olympia winner, Phil the Gift Heath. And I tell you guys, Phil Heath definitely redeemed himself from the 2014 debacle at the Mr. Olympia. I tell you, he looked fucking horrendous in 2014. That had to be probably the worst version of Phil Heath. He came in with such a fucking distended midsection and he had no visible cuts to the quads. He was all washed out. He just looked horrible. How he lost against, how he won against Kai Green is unbelievable because 2014 Kai Green looked really good and that was the last year Kai Green competed at the Mr. Olympia contest. But I digress because that's for a whole nother video. Now on the other side of the coin, we got Victor Martinez at the 2007 Mr. Olympia and you guys know how I feel about Victor Martinez. I've done a shitload of videos on 2007 Mr. Olympia Victor Martinez and I always did wish he competed at 2008 Mr. Olympia because I think he would have looked even fucking better in my opinion. I think Victor Martinez would have killed it at the 2008 Mr. Olympia and Dexter Jackson probably wouldn't be the 2008 Mr. Olympia champ. He probably would have placed a second because Jay Cutler was super off in 2008. So Victor Martinez could have came in if he didn't get injured, probably would have won it all, and Dexter would have lost, but I digress. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this awesome comparison video between uh, Victor Martinez and Phil Heath. So without any further ado, let's get in on And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relax. And right off the bat, I'm going to go with uh, Victor Martinez. The structure of Victor Martinez is just so much better than Phil Heath. Phil Heath's quads aren't really deeply cut. They're a little washed out. His midsection's protruding, but not as much as 2014. Like I said, he definitely redeemed himself from 2014. He looked a lot better in 2015. But all in all, I am going to go with Victor Martinez because Victor holds a really good front relaxed pose. His lats are flaring out nicely. His abs are nice and diced. His quads are nice and diced. So all in all, Victor Martinez is going to get the first point for the front relaxed. All right, guys, off to the next pose, and we got the side chest shot, and this was a hard one. This might be the toughest pose I had to judge out of this whole comparison video, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that I can't stand Phil Heath in the side chest pose because his left arm just covers up that left pec, but in this pose... His left pec is striated a little bit more, and I just think that the uh, silhouette looks a little bit better, and his chest is popping a little bit more. So I'm going to give this one to Phil Heath, but it could go either way, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh, and this is no competition. Phil Heath has a short torso. From like 2014 on, I don't know what it was, but his torso looked very short. I mean, his abs are pretty deeply cut. He's got no V-taper, and his quads are a little washed out, like I said before. Victor Martinez, the silhouette looks fantastic, and he's got a great V-taper, unbelievable abs, and it's an ab and thighs, so we got to go off the thighs as well, and his thighs look crazy, so all in all, Victor's going to take that one. All right, guys, now we got the side tricep, and uh, Victor's got a great side tricep. It's nice and deeply cut. But look at Phil Heath's tricep. My fucking God. And that was the night show. The night show, he looked a little bit better. He definitely dialed it in a little bit more for the night show. Wow. It is so thick and deeply cut. And then he's got a big shoulder and a big bicep to go with this pose. And a decent silhouette. Even though Victor's silhouette's a little bit better, I'm going to give this one to Phil the Gift Heath. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread, and this was another pretty tough one, but Victor is a little bit wider, but for some weird reason, when Victor hits a front lat spread, his midsection protrudes like crazy. If his midsection was a little tighter, he would look a little bit better in this pose. And his quads look great. The silhouette looks great. So I'm going to go with uh, Victor Martinez. If Phil Heath's quads were a little more diced and a little more deeply cut, he would look a little bit better in my opinion. And we all know that he is narrow as fuck. So all in all, Victor is definitely going to take the front lat spread.
All right, guys, moving on to the next pose, and we got the front double bicep, and this one's going to go to Victor Martinez for sure. Victor has one of the prettiest front double bicep poses in all of bodybuilding. He's got really big arms, and he ain't using any oil. His arms are way bigger than Phil's arms. Phil's arms look like they're deflated. They actually look deflated. Phil's got really no V-taper. Victor's got a better V-taper, and he just looks better. So Victor Martinez is definitely going to get the point for the front double bicep. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread. And I tell you, Phil Heath might have one of the best rear lat spreads I've ever seen. I say it all the time. It looks like he has a piece of fucking armor on his back. And then look at the lat insertions. Unbelievable. It's crazy because in the front lat spread, he doesn't look so great. But from the rear lat spread, from the rear, he looks so much better. And then look at his lower back how thick his lower back is. Then he's got those diced hams and glutes. So Phil Heath is going to get the point. Victor looks good and Victor's nice and wide. Thick traps, great hams and glutes, but Phil takes it to a whole nother level. All right, guys, now we got a uh, most muscular pose. Victor's hitting the hands class most muscular and Phil's hitting the hands on the hip most muscular. So we're going to just call it an all around most muscular pose because I got two different uh, poses for you guys. And I think I'm going to go with Victor Martinez. Even though Phil looks a little drier and a little harder, I think Victor looks wider. And I just think the silhouette looks better on Victor. And plus, Victor's quads are more diced. And they're just more separated and more deeply cut. So I'm going to go with Victor Martinez. Plus, Victor's arms look a little bit better. And they look a little bit bigger, in my opinion. Phil looks a little harder, but that's about it. So Victor's going to get the point. All right, guys. Now we got the rear double bicep in the last pose of the night. And you know what? If Victor Martinez had a better lower back, because he's got such great hams and glutes and such a great upper to middle back... And he's got great shoulders and arms to go with the rear double bicep pose. He would have a fucking great back, but his lower back is lacking. So I'm going to go with Phil Heath. Even though Phil Heath's rear double bicep didn't look as good as it did in 2011, 2012, or 2013, it's still crazy looking. I mean, look at his middle to lower back. I mean, it is so thick. It's unbelievable. But at the end of the day, if we tally up the points, guys, we got... Victor Martinez with six, and we got Phil Heath with three. So it was, no, actually, sorry, guys, it was five to four, Victor Martinez. Five to four, Victor Martinez. And I mean, you know what? Right, rightfully so. I think Victor was definitely better than 2015 Phil Heath, but not by much. Not by much at all. I would love to see these guys up on stage next to each other to really see the difference in the physiques. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.